In this video, we will demonstrate how to adjust the divert belt tension on a mod sort transfert and divert station. These instructions are also found in the installation and maintenance guide of the mod sort engineering manual. Tools required for this job include a flathead screwdriver, push pin, 7 16 wrench or socket, 5 30 seconds Allen wrench, and 1 half inch wrench. Before conducting any maintenance on the mod sort, remember to use all your PPE and follow lockout tagout procedures. Step 1. Begin by removing top plates on each side of the unit. If side guides or spacers are present, remove as well. Step 2. Unlatch and remove the orange clips from both sides of the belt. If needed, raise the roller top belt up to gain access to the clips. Be careful if using a screwdriver to pry up the roller top belt. The belt may be damaged if the screwdriver slips. Step 3. The following procedure is performed by two people. Choose the easiest direction from which to push the belt retaining pin. Push the pin a short distance from one direction. Push the pin out so it can be pulled out from the other side. Step 4. Reinsert the pin into the free link side of the roller top belt, where the clamshell and spheres need to be retained. If the pin is not reinserted, the spheres and clamshells can fall out as the roller top belt is removed from the transfer. Step 5. Place each end of the roller top belt on the conveyors in line so the divert subassembly can be worked on. Step 6. Using 1 half inch combination wrench and a second 1 half inch wrench, loosen the jam nuts on the divert belt idler roller take up assembly. Step 7. Insert the mod sort thin axle wrench, 11 mm thick, into the exposed idler roller axle located just inside the frame assembly. Step 8. Perform the following at the same time. Hold the mod sort thin axle wrench. Use an M13 box end wrench to loosen the axle lock bolt. Step 9. Notice, do not over-tension the belt. If the tension is set too high, the belt will wrinkle up as it runs and will be damaged. Step 11. Repeat the following steps as needed to set the divert belt tension. Step 12. Insert hands between the belt and polymer wear bed to gauge the resistance between the belt and the pan. The tension is correct when a slight sliding resistance is felt between the belt and the polymer wear bed. Step 13. Turn the jam nuts to increase or decrease the resistance. Step 14. When the desired tension is achieved, use the mod sort module thin axle wrench and an M13 box end wrench to lock the axle lock bolt. Step 15. Using a 1 half inch combination wrench and a second 1 half inch wrench to lock down the jam nuts. Step 16. Unlatch the orange clips on the side of the belt that contains the pin. Step 17. Pull the pin out of the belt. Step 18. Bring both sides of the belt together. Step 19. The following procedure is performed by two people. Push the belt links together and apply compression where the pin will start to be inserted into the belt. Push the pin into the belt. Step 20. Latch the orange clips. Step 21. Install top plates. For more information, please visit www.modsort.com.